body and your mind. Yes, you are listening to The Radio Dawn Show with your host, me, Damo the Dawn. And what I do is just business. I love that voice. I'm going to keep that voice. (laughs) Yeah, that last track, oh, Sex Pit Stills, God Save the Queen. What better way for Punk Rock Night with that? Now, I have a very special guest in the studio tonight, and that is Robbo. from Peterborough-based punk rock band Scumbus. Say hi, buddy. Hey, guys. How you doing? And how are you today? I'm, I'm good, man. I'm good. All right. See, that, that's a good way to introduce you, right? It's possibly the best way. It's not punk rock without Sex Pistols, Exactly. Man. It isn't punk rock without that band. And uh, you should now do a cover of that in your band. Well, maybe. Maybe. Well, I hope it does. But anyways, I've got a couple of questions to ask, and I'll just... Fire him away if you like. Fire him away, man. We right. squad. <laughs> so is this. Uh, one, what inspired you to get into music? Uh, it's a bit of a long-winded story. Um, if, if, I, if I cut the basics out, uh, my, my, my dad's uh, really into metal. Um, yeah. I, I grew up with metal and, and punk rock and stuff, so it's, it's, it's always been there. Mm. Um, I didn't really pick up an instrument until about ten years ago uh, when Dave, Dave Williams, um, our bass player, and he does some session work for you on, on work. Yes, um, he does. Uh, he's my session bassist for my solo work, and he's one hell of a guy. <laughs> yeah, he pretty much convinced me to pick up learning the guitar. So oh, really? That's, that's how I ended up playing. Oh, I swear, there must be like a secret with this guy. Cause <laughs> he's, he's very persuasive. <laughs> <laughs> oh, I love the guy, I really do. Oh, thanks, man. Uh, okay, I've got another question for you. Um, any updates on your band Scumbus? Um, well, at the moment we're, we're just uh, writing more material, uh, mm. trying to get ourselves out there, and yeah, just uh, general stuff really. Uh, we're looking at starting to get an EP or an album recording a bit later on in the year, so hopefully that goes ahead. Nice one. Alright, well I'll definitely uh, look forward to that. Um, third one, you're going to love this one by the way. Uh, on your last gig, because I was there, yeah, yeah, yeah. how did it feel when the crowd was shouting lyrics to your songs? Because oh, on radio, I have to be polite, um, but <laughs> it's it's one of the best feelings ever, um, especially mm. when 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 you write the lyrics yourself, um, and you're you're hearing the crowd singing your own words back to you. Yeah. It's, it's it's hard to describe. It's just it really is something else. <laughs> so like all your hard work finally pays off. Yeah. Oh, I was in that crowd. It was awesome. Man. You were it's singing just... it, man. You were singing it. Yeah. <laughs> I love your songs. They're amazing. <laughs> Thank Shout you, and get over it, get over it. It's insane. It was so good. It was ah, uh, well done. Thank you, man. That's Thank my you. point of view. Uh, this is a good one, I think. Uh, what phase do you get into when you write a song? Uh, a lot of our songs are are based on negative things that we like to try and mm. and, and put out into a, either a better light or just an obvious light. You know, um, yeah. Where we tend to we're we're pretty cliche. We write about breakups and stuff like that. Yeah, um, but. Uh, to get in the mood of that, normally we just make fun of our, our drummer Paul. Because uh, <laughs> you were telling me about this before. <laughs> yeah, uh, we spend a lot of time uh, making fun of fun of our drummer. He's a, he's a great laugh, and uh, but yeah, I mean it gets us in, in in a good mood. So if we got something negative on our mind, we mm. can we can cheer ourselves up, and then we can put what was ever was on our mind into yeah. into our music. Well, so. well, I'm really happy that he doesn't take it too seriously. <laughs> <laughs> he doesn't have a choice really. <laughs> oh dearie, da. <laughs> Uh, and uh, I got the final one. I got the final question yeah, for you. That uh, any future projects in the works? Anything else that you want to see? Well, like there's not really much in in the line of uh, any other projects. I say been focusing really heavily on Scumbus, especially this year. Um, might potentially do do a side project or something, but say uh, al- album is is top priority. It's yeah, hundred percent working towards it. So. Well, I will uh, definitely be looking forward to that. Do you have any links, by the way, for your um, band? I do indeed. Uh, we've got our, our Facebook um, link, which is uh, obviously www.facebook.com forward slash Scumbus UK. Yes. Uh, Bandcamp um, is uh, scumbusuk.bandcamp.com. And yes, yeah, has your first EP on there, isn't it? The designated It does. It's, com- it's, it's completely free. Um, so we, we've had a bit of lineup change, so it was a lot yeah. easier to make it, make it free. Okay. Um, but, yeah, and we have our... Our Twitter that uh, you very politely encouraged me to to take up using again, which is uh, um, at Scumbus UK. Uh, yeah, you would be quite surprised how many people used <laughs> use 
Twitter, it's pretty insane. <laughs> Apparently everyone but me. <laughs> <laughs> Oh dear, oh dear. Oh, thanks. Oh, again. Now, um, I asked you if you could uh, pick out some really cool punk tr tracks, and you've actually got three on the way that I'm going to be playing for you. I do my best. Uh, uh, and I'll tell you what, when, I, uh, when we come back after the tr tracks, I am going to get you involved in one of my little uh, segments that I'd like to call hashtag Ask D T D. That'd be my honour. Right. Absolutely. Right, so you better not touch that dial. This is the Ray Diodon Show, PCYR, Peterborough City, and Youth Radio. Leave it alone. Free your body and your mind. 